Assalamu alaikum everybody. So today is Wednesday and in the new schedule for my YouTube and my blog that I'm hoping to keep going inshallah, that means that today is fashion review day and I am super excited to do this review. Um, so I have been eyeing the One Piece Jill Abib at Tasneem Collections for quite a while now. And I finally ordered one, um, and I also ordered an extra long niqab. So that's what the video is going to be about today. I'm gonna take a step back, and I will do show you the jilbab, and then I'll do a, um, a review of it, and then I'll do the same thing with the niqab. Um, also, there will be more pictures and um, probably more information in my blog, which I'll link below. Okay. Okay, so um, the jilbab that I got is the Hassa jilbab, and I believe it is in raspberry. Um, I thought the color was going to be a little bit brighter, but truthfully, I really, really like that it's not. Um, somehow, I, I guess it must be the purple in it, but the, the color really, really brings out my olive undertones to the point that the first, like the first days that I was like wearing it and like testing it out, um, I did double takes a couple of times when I went by a mirror because like I looked extremely olive toned. Um, and since I have an olive skin tone, but I'm so pale, I don't normally, uh, it just, it doesn't show up as much as it does whenever I'm wearing this, which is crazy. Um, so I got it in the petite size because I am, you know, I've said before, I'm like a child sized person. Um, so Alhamdulillah, you know, the, the petite size is perfect. It's not too much fabric. Um, the length on it is actually absolutely perfect. It just barely like touches the floor. And so then when I walk, I don't really like, I don't have to worry about it dragging. I don't have to worry about chipping on it, generally speaking. Um, these are really handy. I don't always, um, I don't always use them, but I'll use it in prayer, um, just to make sure that I'm not uh, stepping on my jilbab or something like that. Um, and I'll also use it if I'm like wearing a tank top or a t-shirt under my abaya because it's been super super hot here, um, and so it's just. I never thought that I would actually like the little like finger or thumb loops, but I actually really do. Um, Alhamdulillah. So I got the lightweight fabric. Um, as you guys know, I'm recovering from hip surgery. Um, and actually I have an MRI later today. Um, so that way I can, inshallah, get my back surgery very soon. Um, and so for me, having a lightweight jilbab is extremely important because it allows me to be in less pain. Um, you know, with my, my physical injuries and my fibromyalgia, um, you know, having less things to agitate whatever's going on with me is absolutely a blessing. Um, the fabric itself is super, super light, and it is very breathable, but it's not as breathable as Nida fabric. Um, it's just as light as Nida, um, but it is not as breathable as Nida. So if you um, swear by Nida during the summer, um, this may be a little bit warm for you. What I will say is I was super excited to be able to do this. So I recently did a tutorial on how to tie or put on your jalabib so that way you can use it as a niqab. Um, 
And this is the only one that I ever have had that I can tie it underneath my bun like normal and bring it up and still cover my face. It doesn't fall down, it covers adequately. Um, and so I think that that is really, really neat. Um, you know, whenever I saw it, I was like, subhanAllah, this is so, this is so amazing. Um, so I'm going to put on the niqab and then I'll show that to you as well. Okay, so as you can see, there are a lot of things that can be done with this Nikon. It has an ice screen um, that you can flip up. Um, I was super excited whenever I saw that there was an eye screen or an eye veil um, whenever I received it because looking at it online, I didn't realize that. Um, and you know i've explained before that due to my fibromyalgia i have photosensitivity issues um or light sensitivity issues so i found that when i flip the screen down i can be outside um without needing sunglasses day or night for the most part um and not get extreme pain or anything like that so um I really, really am in love with this niqab. I've been wearing it like so often because it's been so bright. And so then I'm able to put the screen down and not have to worry about it. Um, it does have a ribbon connector. And I was a little dubious about this because I just always thought that maybe, I don't know, I didn't think that I would like the ribbon as much as I like the string um, in my Sadika Fashions one. I thought that maybe the ribbon would appear to be too wide and would look weird or something like that. Um, but, you know, I really, really like it, mashallah. They they do really, really good work um, at Tessneem. Um, as you can see, you are able to flip the layers forward to get more coverage. And what's really unique about it is that it's all one piece. So it looks like there are two layers in the back, um, but they're actually one like connected circle layer. So you get the two layers when it's in the back, but when you flip one layer forward, it completely covers um, your arms and your chest and everything without there being any kind of gap um in between the the layers of fabric so it's completely covering you can also if you don't want to flip a layer forward like i showed you where is it there are two little ribbons that connect to the veil layers and you can tie it in front of you um, for more coverage i like to tie it in the front and then I will throw it behind me 
and it gives it um, a more like, I don't know, flowy kind of fall in the back. Um, and then it also kind of makes the profile a little bit slimmer, which is good for me since I'm so small. Um, I have absolutely no issues with like the length of it or anything. I, the actual, the niqab part is in, it's about where I, I like it to be on, if it's on the longer side. Sorry about loud cars and everything. I don't know why people are out at 12 o'clock on a Wednesday instead of working. I don't know. <laughs> but so it covers um, on the longer side about at the end of where I would like the niqab to fall since I am so small. And just overall, I really love it. Um, the fabric itself is very similar to the fabric that Suna Style uses for their niqabs. Um, so it is quite breathable. It's not as breathable as um, Saudi crepe, but again, most people don't have access to Saudi crepe, just like most people don't have access to Nida fabric. Um, so this is extremely, this is very breathable for what is available on the market aside from Saudi crepe. So I really, really love it. Um, I've seriously pretty much been living in this niqab. It's super long in the back, but it's not so long that it drags the ground, even with how short I am. Um, if a person is much shorter than me, then it might drag the ground on you. Um, and so that would, you would need to be careful. So if you are probably, I would say if you're 410 or shorter, then you would want to be um, careful ordering this niqab, or you would want to um, talk with Joanna, the wonderful lady who um, runs Tesneem Collections, um, and maybe they can make some sort of alteration for you um, because each of her, each of the things like that you order from Tesneem are made individually for you. They don't have like a back stock. They make it all um, by order. Um, I'm saying I'm um a lot. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> so whenever it did ship out, uh, it took about, I'd say, 10, week, 10 days to two weeks. Um, I'll take a look at it and I'll put the exact information um, in my blog, inshallah. Um, so I was kind of impatient about it. And then there were some issues where like we didn't receive mail one day and then there was another day that was a holiday and so we didn't receive mail and then the mailman came late one day and I thought we weren't going to get any packages but then a second mailman showed up at like eight o'clock at night and uh, gave me <laughs> my package subhanallah so I was super happy about it um, I actually just put everything on and sat eating and watching TV in my <laughs> in my test meme order because I was just so excited. Um, and so one thing that I really, really liked when I opened the package, this is going to sound really weird. So it wasn't with the niqab, but whenever I opened up the jilbab, it smelled like Arabic coffee. I don't know why. It smelled like Arabic coffee, like when I make it with cardamom. And it was amazing. And that just made me even more happy about it. Um, I don't know if that's a regular thing. Other people that uh, have ordered from Tesneem, maybe you should chime in and let me know. Um, but I was really, <laughs> I was really happy about the fact that it smelled like Arabic coffee. I was like, this is nice, you know, because sometimes you order from places and it just smells like gross chemicals and you have to wash it off. Um, but that was not the case at all with my order from Tasneem. So, mashallah um, and Allahumma barik laka fiha uh, when it comes to their business. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you know, 
inshallah, I would love to order from Tasneem again. Seriously, it's just amazing. Um, I know that my co-wife has her eye on um, one of their Jill Bobs, and we're, we're trying to figure out like what color to get because she needs the lightweight because of um, her issues with heat and things like that. Um, but just, they're amazing. Joanna like answers your questions super quickly. Um, it's just, mashallah, it's just amazing. It's so amazing. Um, I would love to order from them again. Please do go and check out their website. Um, I know that they have, they have a lot of really neat things. Um, like they have Kimars that you can bring the bottom up like on the Jobab, um, but they have strings attached to make it easier um, and keep it up where you want it to be. Um, I know you can request that these strings be added on to your Jilabib. Um, they just put up a new Kimar Niqab um, that I believe it's a chiffon fabric and several different colors. Um, it's very flowy and beautiful looking. So go go check out their website, inshallah. Um, and I'm almost completely certain you will find something that you like. They make things for women and they make things for for girls, like children. Um, and yeah, I just, I can't say enough good about, about them. Um, so definitely check them out. Inshallah, check out my blog because I'm sure that when I actually type everything out, it's going to, there will be more information in there. Um, and like I said, there'll be some more detailed photos as well. Um, Bismillah. So check them out and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'm going to go now and uh, eat something and get ready for my MRI. Yeah. <laughs> Jazakumullah khairan. Bye guys.